Welcome back, this is M-Dog. I think we're at episode 19 of our leveling series here. I believe that's correct. First, let me just say happy Father's Day. Hope everyone who is a part of our community and um, is a father has had a good day with your family. So happy Father's Day. We are here at Mosquito, as you can see. Thought we'd do a little bit of fishing here. Maybe also try out winding a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I saw someone with a post about a spot here at Mosquito that was right, let's see, I think it was 5287. It's actually this way. And they were actually using uh, floats for this spot. So we'll see if we can get something going with feeder. We could try float, although we don't have, because we haven't, um, you know, stayed with float, we just don't have as big of a uh, float rod and line and stuff. Oh, we actually want to use caddis fly. You can go pearl barley here, but it sounded like the report was that it was better on caddis fly. Unfortunately, I should have checked before leaving Belaya. Caddisfly might be out of stock here. Oh, nope, we're fortunate here. All right, let's just get this a couple times. My main goal in, we're just gonna do a little fishing. We haven't fished a mosquito in so long. But my main goal in doing this, honestly, is to work on leveling up our um, our bait harvesting. We want to get to garlic dough, maybe even this episode. So let's put the caddis fly on there. We're using six hook. We're going to start off at a 10 meter clip. Let's see where that lands. That looks about right. Maybe we'll do 10. I am using our fake bream mix because we're going for a range of fish here. Sure, roach, crucian, gibbles, but also, let's go 10, 11, 12, but also um, white bream, Chinese sleepers, lots of different fish. I actually think that, oh, we have a really nice six. Should have used that on one. That's all right. So we see what this spot is like, we'll just go with it a little bit. So we're gonna go 12 on this one. Let's see what the bite rate's like. So it's working on float. Does that necessarily mean it'll be a similar experience on feeder? Not necessarily. So we'll see. But yeah, the the float setup they were using had 6.8 line on there. So, I mean, the biggest we can go is, you know, we go a little bit bigger up to that 4.8. We might be able to do it at that point, but I figured we'll just start off trying out feeders and see if it works. The big thing we want to do here though is make a bunch of semolina. We might have to get more ingredients as well. Um, this is the cheap one. See if we can level up. Where did we leave off? 32.2. We're going to need quite a bit of ingredients. Thirty-two Let's see if we can get 33 here. And then we'll check our rods. Is anything going on? You know, the bite might be better. I do think there was a nibble on one a minute ago. The bite might be better at certain times of day. I don't know. Do we have any line that's even close to... So what do we want? We, would, we just need to be less than 4.8. Not that it's the end of the world if we break that um, float rod, but... We should do a comparison here to see 
how far can we go? So 4.8 exactly. It's risky, but we'll try it. Four silver. It's nothing. I think that's the third line, isn't it? This is probably the one we'll take out of the water too, but this was at 12 meter clip. Yeah, it's a nice sized roach. All right, so let's take this hook off. We definitely want to use a cheaper hook on our float setup that could go kapui. We could accidentally kapui our float setup. Okay, and they were going with, I think, 1.2 meter depth. So let's adjust that. It's going to be a little tricky because we are still, we're going to be doing a lot of leveling our baits. I think it was a farther cast out, and that's another thing. Nicer telescopic rod. You get a lot farther cast. But we'll give that a try. All right, let's switch this over to our six hook. Might as well use the nice stuff, right? Might as well use it since we've got it. You almost want to throw the float maybe from here, like this way. I, I really think that he was float fishing farther away from shore. But we'll see if we get a bite right there. Get a little nibble. Keep digging. You never know when we'll get a point with shoveling. So now we probably just maybe make two at a time and then check since we've got a float rod out. Mix it up a little bit. It has been fun f spin fishing on this account. I mean, it's nice to be back to sort of, you know, trying out mosquito again. And all right, let's see what this is. Yeah, this is this is uh this is a little heavy for this setup, isn't it? So if you really want to do this float fishing style, you are going to probably want to um, use a little bit stronger float rod, which. Can we get up right here? It'd be so nice. Yes. Which it's not that expensive. Um, in fact, it's probably something we should do at some point, but like I wouldn't go with this one. Eight meters to me is just too long. It's hard to pull the fish in, but six meters, you can pull them in pretty decent and it's a little farther casting because of how long the rod is. So at this point we're level 14 drop on 168 silver so we can be a little more aggressive with 7.4 load capacity we can actually go for um you know big crucian gibbles and roach and stuff with it it's not that bad a not that bad an idea it's definitely getting a bite rate out here imagine having three float rods doing this might be pretty intense But this is like the name of the game. If you really enjoy float fishing, and believe me, float fishing just gets better and better the farther you go in this game. So if you can if you can handle it early, you'll uh, be rewarded later. There's the red worm. All right, so let's pick this up. And then let's do some more semolina. Let's we'll see how many ingredients we have left. Yeah, we can still do a little bit more. If we keep getting points every time, it won't be too bad.
See if we can nail this fish. Long nibble, huh? Probably another roach. It does seem to me like the feeders are a slower bite rate, unfortunately. It may just be better on float. Now we could switch the feeders to pearl barley, probably get a little better bite rate on the roach itself, but some of the draw of this spot is that it looked like such a good variety of fish were coming in. And again, I think you might see that on float, but on feeder it might be not quite the same. Hopefully we don't snap this rod. That is just an annoyingly long. All right, so we're already out of wheat flour. Okay, we got him. Did we get him or did he get us? Can't decide yet. Okay, it's another big roach. Wow, big time roach. I'm almost certain that trophy starts at 1.2, so we're we're floating with a trophy disaster here. All right, let's make sure the grocery store here does have wheat flour. It's a little bit cheaper at um, Old Bird, but not that much it's going to be painful but you know you got to do it and thankfully you only have to do it once already getting another pretty aggressive bite going here ah too soon too soon okay We might not even, yeah, I guess we probably did need that much. We'll start missing points at the very end here, I bet. Yep. Oh, mercy. If we miss again, we'll exit out and then restart. Okay, 34.5. Maybe we just want to... Ooh, really? This is going to be all roach for us. You know, maybe we just want to embrace the roach. Just embrace the roach. These are a pretty nice size roach, actually. 
All right, let's rush to the cafe real quick. I haven't checked the cafe. I wonder if Roach is on the menu. Yep. All kinds of fish that could come out in this spot. Gibble, Chinese, Crucian, Roach, Gibble, White Bream, and Roach. Tons of cafe order opportunities. Is it 300 grams? Yep. We're going to hit that roach order. I hope. And no rough orders holding us here. We can go try the bream spot if we can get to garlic dough. God, we're so close. Oh my goodness. We didn't hit it. All right, we need to not miss this bite. Maybe not. Maybe we did go a little early. Wheat flour and sugar. Flour and sugar. We think three will be enough. That would be a lot less painful than I was expecting. If that does end up being enough. And the roach are real here. Holy moly. Wait, have I been making the wrong thing? Were we making sweet dough that whole time? Holy cow. That's my fault. All right. Let's check garlic dough's ingredients really quick. So wheat flour, garlic we have to buy, sunflower oil we have to buy. So let's make one more sweet semolina. I think I made a ton of sweet dough instead of semolina. My bad. This should be a pretty nice roach here. This is your mosquito roach farm. Uh, so let's do the comparison here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's all of them, 17 silver or 29 silver. But if you stayed here all day, you'd have a lot of roach a lot closer to 300 grams, so it'd be a lot even bigger difference. But I think we're going to move on here soon, so... I do wonder at night if you would catch more white bream, and then early in the morning probably more sleepers, or the chance of sleepers at least. The big boy. Six six ninety-two. 
That's about to have a fish on it. All right, so do we remember what we need? Garlic. Let's just get a, let's get three of them, and sunflower oil. Does that use multiple pieces or just one? Yeah, it uses it multiple times. Okay. Fish on? If fish isn't on, we don't care about it anyway. Almost 30 silver, not bad. And that's going to do it. 7.9 more silver. All right, let's get this set up. So we definitely want to use fake bream. We could go large one hook on one. Garlic dough. Fake bream, nice hook. Also make cheese cubes but cheese you get at quarry so we actually can't do that yet let's go try this spot out the spot we're looking for is 111 126 it's kind of up there near camp right See if this bream spot is um, seems decent at all. I think in this spot we just kind of want to aim straight across here and we'll stay at the same clip we're at 10 11 12 Out of the baits that we've made so far, if you had to make a lot of something, garlic dough would be one that you would not mind. Over the course of time, there will be so many bream spots that will benefit from garlic dough. But I do regret making more sweet dough than semolina. I wish I would have noticed that and stayed on the semolina, but that was my fault. But we still have a healthy amount of both. I mean, it'd be a long time before we'd use either one of those that much. But 
garlic dough. It's not unheard of to fish with a couple thousand pieces of garlic dough if you hit a lot of bream spots. Now recently, there has been... Uh, pea porridge has been pretty big for bream, but that rotates. But it's often garlic dough, pea porridge, and then occasionally cottage cheese dough. I would say are the main three. I think that's right. Not that you don't ever get, you know, pearl barley or something else, but um, if you had to pick three, I think you'd pick those first. Seems pretty healthy. Seems like a pretty healthy bream here. Wait, what? Oh, using dough bait. I was like, we have caught bream before. You know, at some point we are going to have to let this leveling guide come to an end. I will try to remember to sort of, whenever we have our last episode, end with kind of what the game plan, you know, would be if we were moving forward in terms of what to start aiming for next. But in general, I think because I do so much feeder fishing, but also enjoy trolling at quarry, I do tend to want to get a couple of feeder setups using the Saber 60 reels and putting them on something like the Fortuna feeders. Because those Saber 60s can also be used easily to troll quarry. And then probably my next big upgrade, at least with feeders. Now, obviously you'd also have to get inexpensive spinning rods to put the Saber 60s on to troll at quarry, but those are relatively inexpensive. 
but my next purchase past that would probably be Fortuna Carp Rods and Caliber HSVs, which again, I'll try to remember to show these in the store. But at some point, you know, I mean, th those are all sort of attainable goals. I mean, it's not that much of a grind to get your three carp setups, starting carp setups in terms of Fortuna carp rods and caliber HSVs. If you want to do, you know, carp fishing and, and mostly bottom fishing as your primary way of making silver and gaining XP in the early to mid part of the game. But how you get there is, you know, once you've unlocked through Belaya, you basically just want to rotate and hit the hot spots, cafes and hot spots, cafe orders and hot spots. And then, it, you know, we're almost now, I mean, we're 14 going on 15, right? So it's not that long till we unlock Corey probably don't go to bear until you have those carp setups which that's going to take a while but you know Corey then becomes a part of the mix and like i said you're just hitting hot spots it's a little bit of a grind but you just keep going keep making silver leveling up bait harvesting as you can the one thing we haven't done enough of and now that we have garlic dough and we're getting up towards pea porridge we can focus this a little bit more but because of us getting distracted with spin fishing, which is fine. I mean, you know, we've made a little bit of silver and had some fun spin fishing. Um, but we just haven't leveled up uh, ground bait as aggressively as I normally would. I think I picked it up too quick. Yep, it may still be on there. Yeah, we're good. I almost got punished there for picking it up too quick, but it did get on. Winding is not necessarily known for its bream hotspots, but they do sometimes pop up like this. And right now, this seems okay, especially if you had a cafe order or just nothing else you really wanted to fish for at night. At winding, let's say you're doing a lot of spin fishing here, then um, it might be something you want to do. at night just to kind of take a break make a little silver off of bream maybe hit a cafe order or two with bream but you know overall unless it's just a really good spot overall a bream spot at winding is probably not going to compare with a bream spot at old berg and maybe not even with a bream spot at mosquito The uh, comfort in the rain, difficult. Oh, we did go too quick. I did get punished. I'm thinking about like once we get to 5 a.m. or so, pulling out this third one, and we'll just toss around spinning rod a little bit towards you know to finish off bream time. Uh, I'll be right back.
Oh, it might have been worth maybe using a little smaller hooks here. You know, whenever you see spots on VK, and a lot of people for bream are using large one hooks, but a lot of times VK is also focused on trying to get trophies. And we just had, you know, we've only been here nine minutes, so not that long. We missed a lot of bream time just, you know, when we were finishing up at Mosquito, but I feel like the bite rate's just been a little too slow. Not ideal. All right, good. We can pull this one out now. Mess around with spin fishing. I don't know if there's any good spots around here. I don't know anything about spin fishing at winding these days. But hey, let's let's give it a try, huh? Um, slower current. We'll start off at retrieval speed 25 is what we've been using at Belaya, but we might slow it down a little bit here. We'll see. There we go. That's a fish. I don't know what kind of fish. Oh, oh, the realm of perch. What do we have to get to to be able to use lures? I'm sorry, lures. Spoons? Oh, 15%. We're almost there. That perch got it on the, uh, on the drop, too, right after the speed up. Right after the speed up. Now for winding, I feel like this this setup does cast stuff far enough. At Belaya, you kind of feel it. Like it doesn't quite go far enough, you know. Let's try this early morning. Yeah, this bream spot's slow, isn't it? It's like 6 in the morning. They should be popping off right about now. Alright, so we'll start moving around. I guess we don't want to get too far until bream time is over. But I kind of want to go try the uh, old chub spot. See if we can hit a chub. Some deep waters over in this part of the map. Alright, so we'll go down to 22. You catch anything? You hate to take them out before like 8 a.m. at least, but. It almost doesn't seem worth it here right now. Oh. I stand corrected. Another pretty decent one. We'll get a couple more like that. It sort of changes things a little bit. But we kind of want to be spin fishing in the more shallow areas, probably. It's daytime now, it's just rainy and overcast. I don't know that that initial drop is as important here as it is at Belaya. Just a slower current, just different, different type of fishing here, I feel like. It is just kind of fun to walk around and try different spots here, though. The only reason why I'm not using the um, 
Aquila and Hornet like constantly here because they probably would get the best results here too but we can also get piked and just lose those lures really quick Oof, nice nice 714 I really think we put them in one more time We won't go all the way down, I don't think. So Chub Spot really down towards the end of the map down here in this direction. But let's just see if like over here is anything interesting. With the Aquila. I don't know that you have to always do this, but I kind of like bringing the lure back up against the current. Hmm. But you could go the other way. I just don't know. Don't know. I'm not going to pause at all. I'm not going to do the drop coming back towards us. Okay. Got perched again. We are getting perched here a little bit. comfortable taking this, these out of the water now. It's 8 a.m. We got what we got. Another roach. Alright, let's go check this out down here before we wrap this up. Also, I just haven't spent a lot of time walking down since they revamped this place a little bit. I, I think some of this in the water is new, for sure. Uh, new spots to try out, like even just with spin fishing. Like, you know, you could just maybe just bring it just right back up against these reeds. Again, just asking to get piked, but who knows? There we go. Let's just hope it's not a pike. this opportunity to get to the right of your fish. So there we go. Yikes. Oh, 
like how he's just sitting there next to the shore. Anybody with a lot of experience spin fishing for small stuff, especially here at Winding, or have any guesses on what this is? I think it could be, um, so the fish here that are typically going to get on baits like this are the perch, pike, chub, asp. Am I missing something? We'll look at the uh, at the records to see what else might that we could possibly catch here. Spin not possibly. You could possibly catch a lot of things, but the most likely offenders. I don't think there's grayling here. It's one of the nice things about Belaya is the bite rate of those grayling for low level spin fishermen with fairly light gear. They're just kind of perfect. Typically what you're, uh, what you're targeting here I feel like it winding at least a lot of times is chub like this fella both on feeders and on spinning winding's just kind of a known as a good place to trophy chub at at least it has been in the past that was cool just like being able to see it as it was fighting us there it's a nice old chub though two and a half kilos I like it all right, so we got a chub here. So let's try this again. Before going down to the normal. Try to pull it straight over here again. keep walking again just more spots look at this right here and that over there oh nice quick bite slipped right off There's a perch. Now we can use spoons. Not that we necessarily want to use spoons here, but that is now something we can do. Asp. Uh, chub. Eyed. That's what I'm not thinking of is eyed. Perch. Pike. Xander. Forget about Xander. There's all kinds of stuff here. Not that Ide and Xander, as far as I know, are like huge. Um, are like easy to catch here. You might sometimes in terms of spinning, but man. I don't know if it's a perch spot or if that was something else, but we keep getting a quick bite over there. Seems like a little active spot though. Go down to 18. Same spot. Let's see if we can hit it again. Oh yeah. yeah. Right over there. Something just keeps hitting it right when it hits the water. And that's just a small chub, I think.
nice. I just don't want to use the spiker. I feel like that spiker is just going to guaranteed hit a hit a um, uh, pike. So this in the past, grasshoppers, sometimes other stuff. This is one of the spots either towards there or straight across here. I should have actually thrown one over there, but anyway, this is a spot where a lot of chub can be caught. Perch. Of course, we don't have grasshoppers, but I just decided to throw worms in. If they're in there, You'll still occasionally get them on the worms, too. Yeah, I think I want to go back up to 25, maybe. What we don't want is, and I don't think this is big enough to do this, but we don't want something just to take off running in the other direction because we don't have that much spool and the map only goes so far. Is this even a fish? Yeah, it is, right? For a second, I thought we had just like snagged on something there, but yeah, it always felt like a fish. Trying to lift it. Okay, okay. You do you, fish. Get over here and um, try to guarantee that it's not going to run past us at this point. It can run back upstream if it wants, but not down. I said not down. Yeah, it is a chub, isn't it? Another nice chub. Okay, so there are chub to be had and there's fun to be found spin fishing here at Belaya. Roach, oh a white bream, nice. Very nice. Interesting. I suspect with grasshoppers here though it would probably still work catching chub. 
which if you get tired of bream and crucians and gibbles and all that it's okay to farm some chub every once in a while it can be a little slow during the day you see a lot of activity in the mornings and late in the afternoon early evening kind of kind of deal overnight some too it's kind of a weird chubs will sort of just come in at different times but middle of the day can be a little slow might want to make sure you have something on that can also maybe catch a few roach or something but um yeah so white bream order if we were going to be here longer perch order if we we're going to be here longer we have had some roach and then we did get the 100 silver chub order except we need three more of them so that would be something else doable if you're just focusing on chub that order is kind of nice it's almost 100 silver at a reasonable size we still made 50 silver though it's interesting to see these chub where they kind of fall in at this size better than bream you typically can catch more bream in the given amount of time than chub but still pretty cool if you could hit some chub during the day bream at night probably do pretty well here especially if you get some cafe orders so we're up to 300 silver but yeah i just don't know in terms of equipment i'm not sure that if it was me moving forward and we were just going to keep going keep going i'm not sure that i would get anything of any other big pieces of equipment before getting the saber 60s and at least two so two of those you know so we're like a fourth of the way to our first saber 60 right and then two and i would have to look at this there's a lot more equipment than there used to be but i've always enjoyed fishing with these fortuna fd 420s with saber 60s it's appropriate load capacity 19 kilo it's not very expensive uh for you know sort of a, a big upgrade and with the saber 60s and these fortuna feeders you can even start in in protected areas certain circumstances like at old berg you could even reasonably go after like small to mid-sized carp uh, certainly be more aggressive fishing for tench and stuff like that knowing that you'll occasionally hit a carp it just feels really good and then you've got the you've got the really nice saber 60 10 kilo max uh, max kilo max drag so nice strength there and that just works perfect for going to quarry and starting to troll even on something cheap like this Load capacity is 15.4, so you can go, you know, 9 to 10 kilo strength line and still be very safe with this. And it's very cheap uh, for this spinning rod. Get a couple of these and you're trolling quarry. So I don't know how long we'll go in this leveling guide, but those are kind of the things moving forward that I, I would have my eye on. That you're now that you've got the feeders in place to really hit the bream spots and uh, start maximizing your silver at a low level. That's kind of where I would want to go next. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, once again, happy Father's Day. And I will see you next time. Peace out.